record. Okay, here we go. Session is now being recorded. Uh, welcome back, everybody, uh, faculty, students. Um, it's good to have you back in our in our group again. Uh, looking forward. I think we're all looking forward to. Uh, a good semester with you, and I hope you enjoy this session with us, as we will, I'm sure, with you. Um, over this uh, winter break, um, we tweaked a few things on the survival kit, which is the theme for what we now call the collaborative marketing campaign. So what you see up on the screen is the PowerPoint I'm going to go through briefly. I'm going to ask the faculty to weigh in on the um, on their particular courses and the workload that is entailed in their course uh, briefly. And then after that, we're going to jump over to the Moreau board. I'm going to put a link in the chat and everybody can um, go there, take a look at some of the previous samples from the survival kits of uh, fall 2020, which were amazing, and I'm sure yours will be as well. And also just to take a look at a couple of extra boards there that have like these team columns that are set up where you have to kind of break out and uh, create your teams today. We're asking if you can think about that during this particular presentation. Uh, I'm sure as most of you know, know about this uh, particular semester and what comes into it, that it's group work. And I'm sure some of you have already thought about the groups you want to be in anyway. So it used to be called the Integrated Marketing Campaign. It's now card called the Collaborative Marketing Campaign. So essentially, it is uh, very much the same. Um, it's an integrated, uh, full-throttle semester project, which really focuses on connecting all of the four-semester uh, GRA classes, I think, um, except a Joe Bodick's class, OK? Um, he may. You know, if you need any support in that area, I'm sure he'll do it, but um, it's pretty much, uh, I think, the four of us that are sitting in the room with you right now. So it's a unified strategic marketing uh, campaign. It has individual phases that we move across in all of the classes. Um, and we sort of start at the top with Grant. You move into branding with Chris and Martin. Um, you touch down with me in packaging and Gord, kind of almost simultaneously, Gord handles the interactive motion graphics and uh, Sean then uh, takes care of all of the information design. So all of that comes in into bringing out this incredible strategic coordinated project that has a integrated kind of result. So the opportunity that you're getting through this is to really understand what it's like to work in a team. Um, you start to see and develop leadership qualities, and you start to see what it means to really organize a project and come out with a focused solution. Okay? So um, every time we do a campaign um, in fourth semester, we always have a collaborative um, campaign theme. The one we're working on and what we worked on last semester is a survival kit. So it's jumping around. So please don't touch the screen. If, if anybody's touching the screen, don't don't move it ahead because it'll jump in ahead for everybody. Okay. So um, in this semester, it, you're required to be in a team of we said three to five people. We are not encouraging anybody to do independent project to do it. It's very time consuming and tasking on you. Trust me, you want to be in a group because then everybody gets delegated something to do. It also teaches you again about team building. So you're going to work in a team on this campaign. Today you're going to sign a contract um, or going to sign it in the next week or two. Send it to Grant and it's the contract that you will fulfill the project. All right. By now, I know everybody has had, knows, understands Miro. Is there anybody who doesn't understand Miro at this point in time? Because we do an awful lot of work on the Miro board. I can speak for my class, an awful lot. Anybody? Okay. So there's links. Uh, Gord has done some incredible videos. They're sitting on my site, on my Miro boards. I'm sure they're on other people's boards as well, just to kind of take you through the basics of Miro. So um, we're going to work on, it's jumping ahead here, we're going to work on the survival kit. Um, the samples are sitting on the row. It's a fun project. The students have loved it. Um, there's comps available for you to apply your graphics. Um, and, you know, survival kits, you know, given we're in COVID times, 
Um, it doesn't have to be a COVID survival kit. It can be any type of survival kit. It comes in many shapes and sizes. I'm going to show you a couple of them in a minute. Um, so when you think of it, you think about something that might be kind of like a camouflaged, ultra-practical kind of collection of items. But it can be just a really fun type of project. So we encourage you to have fun when you're devising this kit and, you know, take a look. So just want you to open up, have fun, use your imagination, and dream it up. Okay, so these are some examples, and I'm going to put this PDF on the Maru board. You can take a look. Usually inside the survival kit, we have about 8 to 10 items that are sitting in it. They can have primary, secondary, and tertiary packaging that goes in. That means a main one, one that tucks into the main, and then a third one that goes into the second package. It could be any material you want it to be in. Um, there's such a host of comps that we purchased from Yellow Images that are up for uh, reuse again. Um, you can make your own uh, type of packaging through 3D. Um, it's just it's just out there for you to have fun. So these are just some fun ones. This is feline relocation paraphernalia, things like the walking zombie survival kit. You can see there's typography everywhere and branding everywhere here and information design. But it's going to have to have a marketing message. That's all to do with grant. The Christmas kit, the Chinese New Year kit. You can see a lot of, you see there's an awful lot of components that are going in. And this is crazy offbeat type of kits, public toilet kits, right? All right some funny little things, survival kits. You can see the mobile foodie. And even sort of fun survival staff kit. Right. And it can be anything. So I really want to encourage you to just have some fun with this and just go wild and, and just think outside the box. It doesn't have to be so serious. Okay? It doesn't have to be so serious. And I want to say that because I think in the fall it was pretty serious. So, all right. So the key is that the kit. It's for someone that you want to take out of a crisis. doesn't have to be a serious crisis. It can be a kind of a fun crisis, <laughs> if there is such a thing. Um, so uh, prepping, um, as it's kind of called in the survival kit industry, means you need the necessities. So the kit has to be something that will meet the need, the necessities of whatever that crisis is, you know. Um, so or something that, you know, is easy to pick up, it's light if you're carrying it, maybe you're going on a trip and you want to just have a survival kit to be, you know, on the plane and you want a lot of, I don't know, zinc or echinacea and whatever to get on the plane, right? Pack a mask, things like that. That's just one to get on the plane. Okay, so have fun with it. So let's start. All right, so I'm going to um, kind of just jump in here and maybe I could get maybe the brand guys to come in here for a second you're going to after you meet with Grant and he takes you through building the marketing messaging you're going to talk to the brand guys and that's Martin and Chris and they're going to lead you into uh, kind of coming up with an original brand for this kit so a logo word mark and it would probably fit in a certain type of category um, that you would gear your brand and your brand values to and specifically where you would have your target audience and key positioning marketing positioning okay so um, okay I think I said this so we're gonna go into groups of three to five select people that you can work with um, and you're gonna read and sign a contract today and then you're basically going to start the project in each and everyone's class today so these are the faculty that are here today and they will be helping you through each and every you know phase development in this very you know substantial but achievable project um, and I think you're gonna really love this this is a key thing in your in your um, your portfolios when you get to fifth semester so I'm going to start off with Grant Grant can you um, pop into the room and uh, just have a little chat about your your part of the uh, of the whole semester, okay? Okay, thanks, Donna. Um, really, really looking forward to working with uh, all the classes this uh, this semester. Uh, last semester we had a lot of fun, and uh, what we'll be doing is we're taking a look at 
really focusing on uh, development and marketing strategy that really, really kicks in. We're going to also work with uh, parent brands. We're going to learn about sub brands. You're going to be developing a new product, which will be able to take over to uh, uh, the, the team f from the branding standpoint. And as we move through the branding and into the packaging side, along with the uh, information content design and that, we'll be concentrating on developing a full launch campaign that brings this to market. We'll get a full understanding about uh, target market, tar target audience, uh, pricing, the, uh, the idea behind the four C's and the four P's of marketing. So it's going to be an action-packed, uh, fun uh, ex experimental project. And it's uh, what, what you're really building here is an incredible uh, portfolio piece. So. Uh, looking forward to it and uh, kick off uh, tomorrow and on Wednesday with you guys. So we'll see you then. Thanks, Grant. Okay, now we're moving to Chris Arnold and Martin, who'd ever like to take the floor. Where you go. Yeah. Hi, hi, everybody. Hi, Martin. Um, hi, hi, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, you go. That's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a tag team like we're going to do this semester as well. Um, so it, it's nice to see some familiar names out there. So welcome, everybody. I think it's going to be a great term. Um, it's a really interesting project. What we're going to be doing in the branding design section is taking the marketing strategy that you're going to develop with Grant, and we're going to give that visual form. So it's going to take those ideas and those concepts and those strategies and create a brand identity, which includes logo, color, selections, typographic selections, any graphic elements as well. And that will provide the foundation from a design perspective for the the rest of the, the project. So um, uh, Martin, you want to add to that? Any, any other thoughts you have in that uh, in that vein? Uh, not really. No, I agree. I think it's going to be a fun project. That's the big intention here, folks, is, is that um, we make this you know all the all the components, right? That um, everything fits together. You know, then when we've done the branding, it then logically, then when you go with Donna, it all makes sense and it all fits together. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you very much. Right. Who's ever, Thank you. So who's ever touching the the slides, please don't touch them, okay? Because everybody's a presenter currently. All right, uh, on to me. I'm the next one here. Okay, so um, I'm sort of, I always say at the, the back of the train, um, I'm the caboose. Uh, I'm, we're the packaging class, and basically everything comes from Grant and Martin and Chris at this point, and it is applied to um, some sort of unit, uh, component. Um, bag, package, whatever we're going to do with it. Uh, we're going to uh, apply all of that, bring all that knowledge into uh, the packaging class. And uh, I think I showed it earlier, it was on the screen, I kind of follow a design thinking way of doing things. Um, work from phase one to phase five. Um, and just kind of take you through those steps. And, and it's amazing how students, when they finish, they're like, wow, we can't believe we've done this amount of work. And, and it's always such an achievement for everybody when they finish for a semester. So you're going to work with me on the packaging end of things and the point of purchase of the retail experience. Uh, just a word to the wise, every week in my class, I work on the Moreau board. And if you go to the Moreau board, they're open, you'll see all of the the weeks are there and uh, we always do a synchronous and asynchronous component in the class. So we start with a presentation in the morning and your concepts are up and then we move to Moreau for our sprints. Okay, so that's how we work in my class. All right, so looking forward to having all of you, truly am. All right, Sean, where you go. All right, hey everyone, welcome back. Nice to virtually see you all. Um, Donna mentioned that she was kind of the back of the train, the caboose. I'd have to disagree because if she's the caboose, then I'm the guy running behind the train trying to jump on it. Um, so I might be the caboose in this okay. course. Um, <laughs> so in the information design class, um, the CNC infographic is a, it's a smaller component than what you've heard from the other courses. You'll be doing a lot of work with Grant on the marketing campaign and with Chris and Martin on the branding and with John on the packaging. Um, with the information design course, GRA 430, um, we're going to do two um, sort of major, semi-major projects before we get into the CMC. 
and then we'll launch into the CMC infographic around um, probably about the last four weeks of the semester. And the idea is you'll take all of the different uh, components that you've been developing in your other courses and you'll create a web-based infographic. And the idea with this is that you're kind of explaining your survival kit to people in a visual way. So you're showing what the kit is, maybe what's inside it, how it works, what the uses and needs are. Maybe you're even referencing your campaign. So a lot of the stuff you're developing with Grant and with Martin and with Chris and with Donna will be displayed in a visual way on the infographic. So almost like a big ad um, done in a very visual way to help explain what your survival kit is. And again, that'll be a group project for the last four weeks of the course or so. But before then, we'll have two kind of major individual projects. I think that's it. Thanks. Thank you, Sean, so much. All right. Last but not least, Gord Fraser. <laughs> so I'm going to mimic about a little bit of what you've already heard. But we'll be taking your uh, your concepts and ideas from Chris Martin, Grant, Donna, Sean, everybody. It's all on the table, and we'll bring it into After Effects, where we'll have the opportunity to breathe life into it in a uh, way that uh well it's we'll slow down a little bit here we'll be able to take all that stuff and put it into after effects and make it really sizzle based on what your objectives are in cmc but prior to all of that stuff we'll be take going through very different task-based projects and have a couple of opportunities to certainly learn the tools and have a bit of a training ground with another project that really sets you up for the cmc component which will be handing out sort of uh, the middle of the semester. So there'll be ample opportunity, lots of time to work on that as we go through all the different features that are available inside of um, After Effects. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities to multiple paths to create a really awesome looking video that ultimately you'll be posting up on YouTube and we'll be linking to that. So I'm looking forward to doing it. It's a really uh, fun project and After Effects will really let you guys flex some creative muscle too. And just, just to note, I believe, Gord, um, I put up some of those links uh, of the videos um, so Perfect. everybody can take a preview of all that yeah. stuff. Okay. All right. So basically, um, I, Martin, I apologize. I didn't put your name in here. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'll fix it. Um, so this is kind of the rundown of how things divide up. One to three might be one to four now because we're now at 14 weeks. Uh, they may vary a bit, but Grant is about the first four weeks. Um, Week four to eight is Chris and Martin, and I sort of start now seven to 14. I've got to fix this. My apologies. And and Gord is, Gord, when do you pop in? Gord, could you uh, give me a hand there? When do you pop in? Well, we'll be aware of the CMC throughout the entire semester. Yeah. Um, but we'll be formally discussing it just before the break. Okay, great. Which would be more like week seven for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put inside here the chat box. This is the Moreau board where we're going to. Um, and we're going to take a look at everything on the Moreau board. It's open for you. Take a look. Don't move anything yet. Just get on the board and we will meet you there. So because I'm trying to hurry a bit so everybody gets to class. So does anybody have any questions? Any questions before we jump over? If, if you do not have access to the board, you must email Loretta because she's handling the fourth semester uh, board. So that's Seneca. Does everybody know Loretta? Um, and the reason that may happen, if you don't mind me saying so, is because maybe you haven't been um, you haven't been uh, using your Seneca email. So what is absolutely mandatory is with the Miro platform and the re and the relationship to Seneca admin, you have to use your you have to use your Seneca email. Otherwise, you can't get on to anything right now. So please email Loretta right away, and she will open up the board for you. Uh, I don't have access either, and I am with my Seneca. Then ask Loretta. She hasn't added you yet. Then. <laughs> Probably what's happened. Okay. Okay, sir. <laughs> um, so um, here we go. Okay, I can. We have a lot of people that are not able to get into the Moreau board for some reason. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Hey, Don. I remember last time uh, they were requesting access. We were getting emails. And 
I thought that was yeah. Uh, did you? <laughs> I think it's every. I think it's everybody. <laughs> okay. We have enough data. Wonderful. <laughs> we have enough data. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is share my screen. I have a feeling I'm going to share my screen. I think that's the way I, to go. I Very. just. I think we might get to class a lot faster than we realized. If you want my opinion right now. Yes. Do it. I'm going to share. I'm about to share my share the screen. Oh boy, that's what, this is a real fun time this morning. Okay. Um, hold on just a second. I got to pull that one out. And um, Loretta just got carpet bombed. I can see. Oh, poor she Loretta. Got, she's going to be. What's going oh, on? What's going on? She'll be. She'll be jumping in here in about two minutes. About <laughs> okay. Okay. So when you finally get to the board, all right, everybody, you'll be happy you arrived there because it has an awful lot of information. Okay. Oh, there are some people there. Edison's there. Lena's there. How do you like that? Oh, she. They got access. Hallelujah. <laughs> Anybody else? We've got five people in. We've got five. Okay. In the meantime, here we go. So I'm over here now, taking a look. Uh, Eden, you got in, Eden. You got in. I think L Loretta hit the release button or something. They're all flying around like butterflies right now. All right. It doesn't matter. I'm going to share the screen, and I'm recording. So it's all good. It's all good. So what we have on this board, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to not worry about the sprint this morning. Every I'm talking to faculty. I'm not doing the sprint. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, essentially, what we have on the board, as you can see, uh, with my hand that's standing here, is samples of previous, what we used to call the IMC. And you're going to look, you can roll through all of these. They're all PDFs, and they're, you know, they're outstanding pieces, and see some of the work that's been done. Inside these PDFs, this is last semester's fall survival kit. These ones that are here, which is pertaining to this project, here is an example of what the final deliverable was um, in what was week 12, which will now be week 14 uh, in your semester. And you can see the scope of work right from everything was started in grants class, moving to the branding that was built um, with Chris and now with Martin as well. And then to me, the packaging components and applications. And then, of course, the applications of information design in terms of an infographic and some applied to packaging. And then right into Gord, bringing it all into a motion graphic um, commercial, so to speak. So these are some really neat ideas. Uh, I encourage you to lift off and not necessarily do duplicates of what is here. Try and not do a duplicate of what you see here, okay? Just say, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Stay and come up with something fun. I really am looking, I think we're looking for some really, really fun stuff that's kind of off the wall this year, okay? Or this or this year, 2021. So um, I can take you around with me. Um, wait, I don't know what I've done. For some reason it won't go down. Somebody's taking control of my board. Okay, we had that, we've had that experience before. Um, okay, so just below the very, very large, everybody follow me, uh, PDF I put in that I'm currently showing you, you will see a collaborative marketing campaign team charter. This is kind of the oath you take inside fourth semester. This is precisely what is signed Okay, and I believe there's a second page to this. And uh, if I get to the second page, there it is. It'll get to it in a minute. It's taking a long, a long while. You can see there's a place for your signatures and your name printed, signature and the date, which will be probably by next week. This is essentially uh, sent to Grant. He holds it. And uh, kind of this is very much your pledge that you will finish the projects. So it's like signing a contract with a client. That's what it is. We are your clients. Okay. And then just moving over, there's just a little document here. 
because we know that as you move through this project, you're going to have some hiccups with group members, and that's totally normal. That's life. Okay, and that's how it is when you're working with people, you know, you got to always keep the peace and get along. But sometimes if something isn't right, you need to uh, have a voice and speak about it. This is the place where you have your voice. All right. So we are hoping all team members will participate and, you know, be a part of this, this project. So that's this. This gets handed in in week 13. It's a personal evaluation that is very secret no one else sees it it's sent to me or to grant uh and you can air your your stuff here on this on this piece of paper okay hey uh so, Donna? yeah uh andre walker here i just had a question um so <laughs> just just an example i'm not in the uh i'm not going to be with my classmates from last semester um yes. i'm, I'm going to be with a new set of uh, different classmates would yes. i be placed in a group like with uh like our because i know obviously some people are going to know each other so they're going to choose yeah. their uh you know their group mates um for like you know for the classmates that don't know each other are we just going to be put into groups how's it going to work out that's exactly it for the people what's going to happen today as you can see there's i'm just scrolling over to the board that has the teams um whoever can make up their teams today go ahead and do that and who's ever outstanding that hasn't got a group we will definitely place you in a group you do not have to worry okay sounds good thank you okay no worries somehow I can't seem to make my my board smaller I have no idea why um, and somehow somebody's taken over the board so okay so I'm over here um, you so what you have to do is take a te make a text box as you can see and you can go ahead and start to build your teams now you don't have to do that right now um, because we'd like to get to class but you simply can put in your information there's a lot of boxes with a lot of teams set up all these columns we've got it up to 16 or I think maybe 20 I put in because there's quite a few of you in the actual uh, semester Okay, so you can do this when you uh, finish your class with the various professors this morning, including me, and come back to this board. You have the link, keep the link, and populate the board, review the board, and look at all the samples. All right, all right. One more thing I'd like to show you. So, yes, Dawn, I'm, I just, I'm, actually, just I'm not reading it. Yeah, yeah just to interject, that's, the, that's what the question was. From Andres is um, should we stick to A, B, and C classes when forming groups? So, yes, that is definitely for sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Please yeah. do. Please do. <laughs> so over here is this rather mammoth. Don't move anything on the board right now. Okay, don't move anything. Um, you don't have to pick anything up. You don't have to click on anything. This particular uh, flow chart will be on every professor's Moreau board okay that you're looking at right now um, it's at the top right at the top of all of our boards it gives you a really good idea of how things are flowing and where the deliverables are the deadlines where things begin where they end and that's precisely why we have put this together you can see there's some key markers here um, study week is March 1st to the 5th for example and I think uh, for some of you who have class on Monday with me and a couple of other professors right now, you know you have a family day uh, that will take a class that will have to be rescheduled. So you can see it's all here. The uh, CMC presentation is definitely um, on week 14. That's the date between the 19th and the 23rd, somewhere in there during that week. It probably will be on the Friday, most likely. Okay, so this board is for you to peruse, for you to look at. Um, I will lock this because I, I really do want um, this to really not be, no, nothing to be moved on this board because this board has been copied onto every faculty member's board. Okay, okay, so does anyone have any questions? So this has all been recorded. Everything is sitting here. You can see CMC samples um, from previous classes. The survival kit, 
an overview of this survival kit is here and every other faculty member has their own projects that pertain to the survival kit but this is an overview of the survival kit all right and what the project's about any questions do we have any questions it's all kind of here it's for you for you to take a look at and for some reason i have somebody who has uh, when you came on the board locked and i and i sort of can't um, get myself uh, to make this smaller. Can anybody make the board a bit smaller? Because I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Okay. There we got everybody. So here's the sign up right here. And if you want to take a couple of minutes, you're more than welcome to do it. But I think that is, um, that concludes really what we want to say in a nutshell this morning. Would you not say faculty so we can get to classes? Yeah, I think that covers it. Yeah. I think that covers it. Yeah, I think it's because, okay. because all, yeah, all the faculty is really going to chat with you about it um, individually, and specifically Grant's going to really launch it. Right, Grant? We're yeah, gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to kick butt tomorrow, so hopefully, <laughs> we get all of, hopefully get all of our groups together, and uh, over the next two days, uh, we'll get the, yeah. it all, all working, and... Uh, start the fun yeah we have so, another question from andres uh, how do we know yeah. how do we find each other how do we know who is a b or b or c uh i imagine you're going to find out in the next day or so um, yeah you know yeah what we do is we just get all the teams uh signed up um maybe what i should do is make the first board when i'm looking at this right now i'm going to make this the saa group so everybody who's an saa is the top board team one to five and then i'll make oh who's touching the board don't touch the board Just don't touch the board yet i'm going to do something so i'm going to make this one sbb groups and the last one is scc group okay and that's how we'll do it so who's ever in saa watch me whoever's in saa go to the first board at the top and then the who just undid my boards that's really weird and then the SBB board is here. It's it's not making it for some particular reason. Try Can a anyone... refresh. Donna, try a refresh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, you've been you I think you've been frozen out. Oh have I? I oh, think so. It. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this. I'll do this. SBB is this group here. Okay, so this is SBB group. I'll do it like this. This is yeah. SAA. This is SAA group, and then SCC group is down here. If we have any stragglers, we'll add them on. Don't panic, okay? <laughs> but I think that <laughs> that's all right. It's it's normal. <laughs> uh, I, I, this is like the extra group. Don't worry about this. I'm gonna move this down here for a minute. So all SAA folks, sign up in here, SBB sign up in here, and SCC sign up in here. Now you know which groups you're in. You should know by now, right? Yeah, just check your course codes and it should tell you. Yeah, thank you so much, yeah. So I think, you know what, uh, if you wanna stay on this board, you're welcome to do your signing up. I know I have the SBB kids at 11.40 and I'm sure, um, you know, I could start my class. <laughs> Am I the only one who has class this morning at four to, uh, at eleven forty? I think I was. No, I I, my, I have branding. And Martin has branding. Okay, yeah. so we need yeah. to get out of here. I've got a class uh, after yes. this. Yeah. Thank you, Donna. Thanks, okay, Donna. Thank you did a great job. Oh, Thank okay. You. So, okay, everybody, I'm just gonna. I, this has been recorded, so I'm gonna post it, and everybody will have it. Okay, so just so everybody has a recap of it. Alrighty. Okay, great. And so. The GRA SBB 410 people, I will see you back in the room you were just in, in about uh, 10 minutes, okay? I'm just gonna navigate here for a minute, and stop recording. Okay, bye everybody. Take care, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>